good morning. En route to the Pond of Ocean Wales today. A bit of the old snack of snoop. I've been riding for about four minutes so far. Just pulled in there the Raven, got another video for that route. So I didn't bother filming that. But, uh, just turn the cameras on. And head on down to Wales. So this is currently the A41. Pick up the A525, sort of go across country to Van Gogh, then pick up the famous Horseshoe Pass. Late signal that one. What an auto flipper on this bike. It's fucking amazing. <laughs> Used to meet a couple of lads there in June for the McMillan Sunset to Sunset, Sunset to Sunrise. Oh bollocks, should have gone left there. <laughs> yeah, like I say, we meet up there and then head this way down to Anglesey for the ride back across the Skegness. This year it's been cancelled unfortunately. But there is a group of us who may consider still doing it, but not 100% out yet. Right. So here we are now, welcome to Wales, there is the sign. Woo! Uh -uh. So we're out in Wales. Welsh Wales! So this is the 525, the 8525. You can pick this up in Stoke as far as I know. Warm. I'd not. I'd come the other way up with 841 first. This is some progress. Boom. Cheers, mate. It is a beautiful February day, 25th of Feb. Absolutely stunning. It's, it's like spring's kicking in. It's nice. Right. Right, so we're taking the A. 539 here to Overton and New Abbott. <laughs> 18 miles to Langollen. This is a very popular biker's route, so I won't be surprised if we see some more. We've only seen the two so far, up by them services, so let's see what goes on. They resurfaced this not long ago, so as you can see, it's pretty smooth. So about here, I think it's back to being bumpy again. Down a gear then and miss the peg.
this, I don't know if the camera picks that up over there, all the distant hills. nothing with that. The roof's caught, it was like an old thatched roof and the roof's caught fire to turn you with it. And it looks like they've still done nothing with it. <coughs> Dildo. Right, a little bit on the damp side though to be getting it down. Ooh. Free range eggs, there used to be a farm here that sold chickens as well. Let's have a 650 bandit, water cooled, uh, 58 plate, a beautiful thing, K9, K8. A bit of idea, certainly. Anyway, going through that section there once on, on another trip back from the Ponderosa um, car, that bandit, I've, I've never. I've never been able to get a bike over as much as I could that bandit. Very strange. But that bandit was awesome. Beautiful like, black and chrome rock. This is now Overton. If you ever come in this way, it's on the A539 into Overton, and you need a wee, there's toilet blocks just on this right turn in here. You're down there, and they're literally there, that car park on the left. If you're in there, job done. Stick with me, I'll tell you where all the bugs are. Take a left here towards Ruabin now. Out of Overton. Take a left here before you get to Rear Abbon. Still on the 5 
39, but this one scoops off down to Van Gogh. And you've got a couple of little roundabouts, you can straight across at both. Back again, this is on the 539. Rev bomb under the bridge, the bridge was too high really to make any odds. It's all getting used to this two camera cell, so like I say, let me know what you think in the comments or give it a thumbs up, thumbs down. I don't mind. If you don't like it, you don't like it. So we're coming in nearly into a place called Trevor. There's an aqueduct here, the Pontes Clive, Pontes Clive. Look at that. Absolutely amazing. Fantastic views. Aussie rooster. I've not been, I've probably not been up here now for about a month, I think. I came through in, was it January? January, yeah, it was absolutely horrible. Couldn't see a thing at the top of the pass, it was windy as buggery. The A5 comes in over that side and they come down through the valley both sides. So you can do the A5 if you want. You know what I mean? You can nobby yourself. Anyway, just on the top of that little hill there, that if you can see on the camera. Let's wait for that tree to get out of the way. There you go. Top of that hill straight in front. That's Dennis Bram. I've walked up that there. God, that was a hot day, I remember that. Really hot day. Just absolutely beautiful. The sun's out. Ha ha! Way up, way up. A little bit of a weave, eh? Woohoo! Just coming back into the back way through Langollen now. A little bit closer. Got all the climbing walls to my right here. Called the, they used to be called the Land. I'm sure, the World's End. World's End climbing wall. I'm sure. And you've got the Langollen Canal that runs that side of the road. So this is Langollen. Just coming in. It's a big river. I don't know what river it is. But if you take the left here, you end up heading towards the A5. I think it's the River D, if I'm honest with you. Beautiful, look at that. And you've got the train station here. So we've just come across the top of Langollen High Street. And we're now heading up towards what will be the Horseshoe Pass. All up in there in the distance, up. Just running. And at the top of the Horseshoe Pass is Ponderosa. You get a cup of tea sandwich or something, I don't know. See what's on offer today. They usually have a savoury on. You can only get breakfast up until half eleven and then after half eleven onwards it's, it's like a brunch type system. You can get chicken curry and chips I've had there before, half and half with rice. Beautiful. 
really nice food. The only problem is it costs millions. It's one of the most expensive places I've ever been to have a bit of food. Absolute crackers. But what are you gonna do? You've got all the old railway parts in there. There is a motor museum in there. Cars and bikes apparently. It's got some stuff from road racing and all sorts. Keep meaning one day to go in there and have a look. By the time I get here though, I'm always hungry. So I just think, sod it. A542 then, to roof in. I didn't realise it changed names of the uh, roof. Look at that though, through there. <laughs> right, so now we're heading up towards the Horseshoe Path. There's a few cattle grids because there's usually some sheep about. This is steeper than it looks on the camera, this bit. See, up in the distance there's a camper van. That's where we're heading, that's all she pass. Down here you've actually got the horseshoe, if you like. Here we are. And the road just is literally like a horseshoe. There'll be plenty of you out there who do quicker, get your leg down, knee down. If you want to do that, fine. I don't ride that way, if I'm honest. We're going back up the other side now. There is a lay-by here somewhere where you can stop and take some photographs. But I'll probably do that on the way back down. Because at the moment, I just want to get up there. Back it down a bit. So. See this lay by here. Stop in there and take some photographs of that view, which I will do on the way back then. The sight is amazing today. Clear as a bell up here. It's absolutely stunning. Not as windy as I thought either. Not like it. Nope. Speed triple. So, Horseshoe Pass, 1,367 feet high. This is the Ponderosa Cafe, you can just sort of see there. So, thanks for sticking around. Watch you my little trip to the Ponderosa Cafe. Hopefully, see you on the next video. Ciao.